<laughs> hey, hi. What are you doing here on this Thursday? Welcome to the replay viewers and welcome to the live viewers. I'm about to, uh, what's up, Ernesto? How you doing? I'm actually working on a deal in Illinois right now. Two deals in Illinois that you might be interested in doing something with. Who knows? Still working out the kinks right now, but, uh, We'll see how that goes. They got a property they want to sell over there. That's right. That's right. It's the I Stay Woke in the building. So, yeah, I'm about to um, give a call to a virtual assistant, a potential virtual assistant. I'm going to do a screening live on the air just for you. Uh, she responded to one of our ads we had up about a couple months ago. She was like, yeah, is the position available? And I'm like, uh, we do have a two-day position available. That's Saturday and Sunday. If you're interested, she's like, oh, yeah, that'll be perfect. So that's what she wrote in her message. And I'm about to get her on the phone and see how she sounds. I'm not sure if she has good English. Uh, let me see. She's from, looks like the Philippines, just like the others are. So, uh, and her name looks like it's Ian. Ian, like a guy, I guess. I don't know. But I'm about to give her a call and see if we can, uh, see if we can find another cold caller to add to the team. If this video adds you any type of value, any type of goodness, give it a like, give it a thumbs up, give it a share. Push that little share button right around there. Go bloop. Share it to somebody who want to know this real estate stuff. Greatly appreciate it. So let's see if we can get her on the phone. She got a different name on here. She got a name of Ian on there and a name of Yanni on here. Which name's her real name? What's up, Drake1234? What up, man? Yeah, I'm about to call this uh, potential virtual assistant and do a live screening on the air. What's up, Tosh? What's up, what's up, Alliance World? Roar! You're roaring on them. So let's see if I can get her on the uh, line here. Call for free. How you do speaker on here? Ooh, that's loud. I'm calling on the Skype. Hey, hey. Hi, yes, this is Chris. Um, this is, let's see, Ian? Uh, this, uh, you me, Yanni. Hi, Yanni, how are you today? I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. How about yourself? All is well, all is well. So I was uh, just okay. trying to get back with you here. You say you were interested in uh, our phone position. I guess you worked in the call center or something like that before? Oh, yes, of course. Um, I think my um, Upwork profile can, can testify to, to that. I am a top-rated freelancer in Upwork, so. And uh, on top of that, I also work to um, different call centers here in my city. And um, I've worked with at and I'm not sure if you've heard about the company. at and sure. Oh, I never yeah. heard of them. They're just probably one of the biggest phone companies in the world. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yes, I've worked with at and T-Mobile as a billing and sales uh, representative. That was um, five years ago, right? And um, also worked with different um, telemarketing companies and real estate companies. And I look at your um, job posting and Upwork, so it's related to a real estate, right? That's right. We we work in the world of real estate. So tell me more about uh, what you did before when you worked in real estate. Oh, um, uh, that was actually with um, Keller Williams. So I was uh, calling um, team leads or managers to set up appointments. Um, so I'm calling those people and set up appointment appointments on behalf of my manager. And uh, so that's what I actually do, um, calendar management, sending follow-up emails, and um, making sure uh, to um, inform my manager um, ahead of time if, like, I was able to book an appointment. And also, I was able to attend, you know, like a boot camp, boot camp for, for real estate, like all we, I learned about like the, the terminologies, all about real estate and all of that. But I, I can go ahead and like go into details about all of that. That was like uh, two years ago. So 
<laughs> it would be hard to like remember all of that. But yeah, so uh, I have experience with real estate, and those were the, the things that I do. Okay, that's good. So you were working basically with real estate agents and things like that. Yes, mostly sales. Uh, most of the accounts that I handled in the past were uh, mostly sales accounts. So. so did they have you working on like actually closing sales or more just like pre-screening potential clients for the future? Uh, uh, I um retention agent. I was also a retention agent, so that's worse than like <laughs> just closing a sale. Oh, wow. <laughs> you so will, you're trying you to keep them dealing, on? Right. You will be dealing with a lot of angry, uh, angry uh, customers and would like to cancel their accounts and all of that. And so I guess they provided you with scripts and things like that to deal with the certain things that they would say? Oh, yes, definitely. They uh, they have, like, um, we, they send us all the script that we needed. And also, um, we were, uh, there, there were trainings, of course. Okay. Yeah, so that sounds good. Um, and so are you working anywhere now? Um, right. I have a part-time job. Oh, okay. So that's why you said you yeah. would be available on the weekends? Uh, no, I'm actually available during weekends. You told me that you guys are looking for an agent for the weekend, weekend position, right? A Saturday and Sunday. That's correct. So you would be available on the weekend time? Right, yeah. So those are the only uh, days that I'm available during weekends. Okay, great, great. And so that sounds good. And so what industry is that in, the one you're working in now? Uh, um, retention. That, that, was, um, that was the one that I'm talking to you about, like um, retaining uh, angry people. Okay, no problem. So, yeah, let me let you know a little bit about what we do. What we do is buy houses for cash in any condition, regardless of how much someone would owe on it. And so we basically uh, do a lot of pre-screening, a little bit of cold calling. Sometimes people may hang up or get mad, just like the people you may have dealt with in the past. Uh, how did you deal with that when somebody would get mad at you or cuss at you? What would you do? Would you get upset and cry or what? Oh, of course not. You really have to um, uh, deal with them. Satisfied with service, and as a retention agent, I I have the power to give them all the options that they want, just like uh, giving them a discounted price and um, and adding like more service to what they initially signed up for. So you would upsell a person. Yep. Uh huh. Okay. So that's <laughs> and, good. Uh, retain them at the same time. Yeah, no problem. So, yeah, we provide all of the training, scripts, systems, software, and everything you would ever need in regards to uh, what we do here. Uh, most of the stuff we do is uh, pretty much on a computer, virtual, kind of like you've been doing yeah. already. Um, um, yeah. What kind of uh, software online are you, are you familiar with? Oh, a lot. Uh, I've worked with a lot. Um, as what I have told you, I've worked with at and They have uh, at and actually has a the, like the the oldest like tools that they use it's bocris so it's it's they use like codes and all of that so i can i can i'm i'm also an information technology graduate so i'm am i i'm an it professional and i do know about a little bit coding and web developing so i'm i don't have any problem with dealing with um any software Okay, but I, so you, I knew. So you actually but build websites? Yeah, yeah. Okay. What about like SEO, search engine optimization? You do that type of work as well? Oh, um, you know what? That's what I'm actually, that's what the service that we are offering here in my current job, like the retention agent. Right. Okay. So <laughs> it was right up uh, something you were already dealing in. So that's we, great. You, we, Uh, yeah, I think we got a little. Know, and I'm very, I, I, I'm really looking forward to be here, to being part of your company. Okay, Thank so you. um, also um, so I, I see you speak English. What other languages do you speak? Um, Filipino because obviously I'm, I mean, I'm 
originally from the Philippines, so yeah, Filipino, just English. Oh, okay. How long have you been speaking <laughs> English for? Oh, since uh, when I was in high school. Oh, yeah, they teach it there, right? They uh, teach it in that country, correct? Huh? They teach it in the Philippines, correct? That's part of your standard uh, education? Uh, not really. It, it depends on the year, like the student. It really depends on the student, you know, how they perform, like when it comes to academics and all of that. So uh, it really depends. Not a lot of people can actually speak uh, English here in the Philippines fluently. Right. So it's very rare, except for those uh, people who've worked with like call center and this kind of job that I do, like remote jobs or VA jobs or freelancing jobs. So the uh, the job that you work for is in the United States now? What are they on, Eastern Time? Uh, what, what time zone are they in? Pacific. Pacific, Pacific. Standard Time. So they're two hours after us because we're in Central Time. Oh, Central. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're exactly. right in the middle of the United States. <laughs> right. Okay. And so I have all of that there. Um, like I said, we provide all of the training and systems and tools you would ever need for the job in the event that you were hired. Uh, we're just doing an interview for now to see if, you know, if you're a good match for us, if, if you think we're a mm -hmm. good match for you. Also, um, what kind of pay requirements did you have? Uh, do you mean like my hourly rate? Is that what you mean? That's what I mean. Oh, okay. Well, um, that would be, uh, if you've seen my upper profile, that my, my hourly rate is at $10 an hour. Okay. And uh, I think we have everything we need for you for now. Did you have any questions for me before I let you go? I know. I think um, I have, uh, like, you've pretty much told me everything about fear, like, uh, what I think I need to know for now. So I, I look forward to hearing from you. Okay, Yanni, thank you for uh, responding, and uh, I'll let you know something here uh, once we review everything, okay? Okay, all right. I, I'll wait for your update and appreciate your uh, time. But anyway, so you, regarding my hourly rate, that's still negotiable. So if you guys, uh, if you want to. Hourly rate is, uh, let me see here. I'm going to actually <laughs> put that in the notes here as well. So when they review everything, <laughs> they'll they'll let you know something here. Yanni, did you have any other uh, questions or anything for me now? I know, that will do it. Thank you so much. All right, have a good right. day. All right, you, you too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Appreciate it. She's still trying to go. She's a talker. Ooh wee, I'm going to have to break that if she ain't work for me because she can't be talking that much. She got to ask questions and zip it. Don't say nothing. How do you grade that uh, interview there? Do you think she's a good candidate? Do you think she speaks good fluent English? Do you think she would be a good person to have on your team or even my team or anybody's team? Uh, she's trying to get $10 an hour in the Philippines. Damn, what's that like? $30 an hour here? $35 an hour here? She's trying to get that big money. But you notice she cut me off at the end and said, hey, whoa, 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 whoa. I think that's negotiable. Yeah, because, you know, that's high. That's like twice as much what they usually get over there. They usually get, you know, five, six dollars or something, you know. Six, seven might even be high. Seems like she is. How would you grade her on a scale of one to ten? How would you grade her uh, as a uh, potential uh, candidate to work for the company here? To try to, oh, she's even sending messages still. Thanks so much, Chris, for your time. She's still sending messages. She's still talking. Damn, she's a talker. Woo! You got to break that habit. <laughs> so how do you grade her on a one to ten? If you would grade her, because uh, I mean, if you want to take notes of this, uh, you know, I want you to see, you know, the type of questions I ask, open-ended questions. I did want her to talk, so I can see how good she speaks English, how she handles adversity, how she handles questions she don't know that's coming to her, how does she adjust and uh, make things happen. That's what I want to do. So you give her a seven, okay? Good follow-through, yeah. She's serious about it. I mean, I don't know. She sounds like almost a closer. If she was closing deals before, because I am looking for somebody who can get on the uh, acquisitions team, because I got two people on the phones right now, and I am just looking for another caller to, you know, kind of put in as an entry-level person, move them up through the ranks. Oh, I meant to mention that to her, that the position is just, you know, entry-level, and there is opportunity for advancement within the company. 
You gotta always dangle that carrot. For those who don't know, my name is Chris Monroe, the student master teacher, Mr. I Stay Woke. Just did that interview there. And uh, basically, if this interview or this video gave you any type of value, make sure you give it a thumbs up, give it a like, give it a share right there if you care. And uh, also, don't forget to get that free JV agreement, the joint venture agreement. If you're going to be doing deals with other real estate professionals, whether it's a wholesaler, whether it's a uh, real estate agent, whether it's just somebody you just met and say, hey, I want some of that money, man. Get that free JV agreement by texting the keyword JV to 31996. It's right there at the bottom in the description. Text the word JV to 31996. What's up, REI Jameson? Good to see you. Yeah. So what's up? Black acquisitions. You're getting acquisitions and they only got to be black on the attack. Seven halves potential. Yeah, she had potential. I think she's pretty good. Other than she's a talker, I don't know. You know, them people that be doing too much talking, they can talk so much and overdo the deal and make a person feel kind of funny, you know, especially when you got the deal sold. When they say, yes, I'll agree, boom, lock them up. We ain't going to keep on trying to sell. That's a mistake I see people make out here all the time. The person will say, yeah, I'll just buy a thousand for this house. Sure. Sign right here and here. Okay, the paperwork here and here. Stop selling. We're done selling at that point. If somebody tell you, yeah, we'll take your offer, lock them up. Lock, lock, lock them up. How many VAs do you have now? I have uh, two. I have two. I have one that works Monday through Friday, and I have another one that works Sunday through Thursday. So I don't have anybody on Saturday, and that's what I would have her focus, focus more on Saturday and Sunday. Because, you know, you can reach more people, especially when you're cold calling and things like that on the weekend. You know, a lot of people feel like, I don't have to, I don't want to cold call through the day. Well, that's, you're not going to reach people most of the time anyway through the day. They're at work. Reach them on the weekend. Reach them after 5 o'clock. Reach them when you can teach them. So that's what I say. Good question there. Any more questions, comments, concerns before I get up out of here and do some more woke stuff? Also, I want to remind you, we'll be going live each and every Monday night, 7 o'clock Central Time, 8 o'clock Eastern, The Chris Monroe Show. Got some good interviews coming up for you next week. Uh, Monday, we'll be on with Quentin, Q. Quentin Flores out of Texas. We'll have him on on Monday night. The following week on February 3rd, we'll be on with um, real estate old school Rick Jarman. Going to teach you some of the old school tactics so they can bring to today, to the future, and use today's technology to get you more in. Let's see, we got some questions here. How do you have them clock in there hourly? So I use different software. Um, this particular one here is coming off Upwork. Stupid phone just uh, bleeped out by trying to call or something. So you can use Upwork. Um, that's one of the places, Upwork.com. Another place is OnlineJobs.ph. Uh, you can actually pull people off of uh, uh, what's it? Fiverr with two R's, five E or F I V E R R dot com, Fiverr dot com. And sometimes I even get cold called from potential virtual assistants that come looking for me. They hit my inbox on Facebook all the time, like, hey, I see you're working real estate, you're hiring? And I'm like, hmm. You know, most people will look at that as a bad thing, but I'm looking at that like, man, what if they can do that to my sellers or the poten potential people that I'm trying to reach in the business? If they're that hungry when they go after a hunt, like they hunted for a job, can they go hunt for these sellers when I'm looking for them? Can they use those same skills, same power, and the same just everything to go after to get these people to get the job done for me? I don't know. One way to know. Put them in the game and see what they do. Let's see here. Or do you put them on eight hours a day? So, no, they typically work about six hours. Um, let's see here. Uh, one of them works 12 to 6. The other one works 9 to 3. So, they kind of overlap. One comes on real early and one stays on kind of late. How mine's is set up now. But she would probably work 12 to 6 or something like that Saturday and Sunday if I hired her. So, you think I should hire her? Give her a good thumbs up. I didn't hear the full interview, but what's the uh, some of the key questions to ask a potential VA? Oh, you missed out then. You got to watch the replay, man. You got to watch the replay. Got to know. Turn on those post notifications if you're watching here on uh, IG. Make sure you always turn on those post notifications so you know when I go live. Because I do all my live calls with sellers, uh, buyers. Uh, potential hires right here on the Instagram at Chris Monroe STL. Be sure to turn on that post notification so you don't miss out on these goodies. But some of the questions were just open-ended questions just like I asked on everything else.
you know, tell me a little bit about yourself, what kind of jobs you worked before, and then you dig a little deeper to get them to talk. I want them talking so I can hear how they speak. Do they speak like a regular person? Do they sound like, or oh, I'm from this other place, from the Philippines, do I talk like this, this will not work for you? I don't want them doing it. I want them to sound like they're regular. Yes, hey, how are you today? I want to sound like a regular person. How are you today? Is it cold enough in your place? It's only 24 degrees here in St. Louis. <laughs> Too cold, but good question there. But watch the replay. You'll get all the questions that I asked her. And I didn't even really ask her everything. Uh, any more questions, comments, concerns before I roll? Roll. All right. So, like I said, follow me on all social media outlets at Chris Monroe STL. That's Snapchat. That's Twitter. That's Instagram. That's Facebook. That's YouTube. Don't forget that YouTube with over 100 free videos talking about real estate. Learn everything from the Ruta to the Tudor about this real estate game. And you can get you some contracts there, any type of paperwork you need, any type of deal at WokeRealEstate.com The link's in the bio or the description. WokeRealEstate.com So with all that being said, do what you do. Be who you be. And I'll see you before you see me. See you Oh, 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 oh,